We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. It's the Nationals Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty B, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. So, digging in now, Gene Segura. He'll get us started in this one under Leading the lights. For Philadelphia, the shortstop, Gene Segura. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. So, guys, these Nationals, as they interplay here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. Hey, why not get on a hot streak, Manny? They played really well yesterday. Continue that trend. Stay on the attack. See if you can get on a hot streak. Maybe rattle off eight to ten. Right side, scooped up. And the off balance throw gets it. Nice play for the out. That is tough. The second base. No good. Fourth down. At the plate, Logan Forsythe. Lifetime against Donibal Sanchez. Two hits in seven tries. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one's down to third. So stepping in, Mark Withenshaw, who was among the many who failed to report a base hit in the loss yesterday. Now the pitch. Wait. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I gotta believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hole, 0 and 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Just hung in there on that one. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Nope. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. 2-2 two, two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. So a full count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at that, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Phillies down in order. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Jared Eichhoff gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, Matty B, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks. The 
think he wants to have some success in this one here. Look at Speedy Trey Turner digs in now. It leaked things off here in the bottom half of the first. This is on the ground over the first. Hoskins has it. He'll take it to the bank himself. And the leadoff man is gone here to start the hole in the first. to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. Here's the first pitch to him. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. And Bruce has got this one two away now. Bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Matty B. And you know what, D. Rowe? Now I guess it's time where you push that go button. You're getting a little sense of urgency. They find themselves in third place, and if they want to be part of the postseason picture, it's time to get going and get going pronto. Yeah, it's taken too long for this team to carve out any identity for themselves. They're going to have to find a way to get on one the ball. ball offensively or pitch better. Something's got to change. And he fouls this one off. Again, a one two. Boy, that's a good pitch right there. The old old school guys would call that a little bit of chin music up and in, see if he can get him to move off the box a little bit. Still two and two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Rounded back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say that the man coming up the four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a in scoring position. Into the box, Jeremy Villarosa, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Ten home runs and 38 runs batted in. The 1-0. Oh. Come on, that's out. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Look now the pitch. Oh, that's low. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Three and one. Down to three and one. Soto, runner at first with two gone. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get fouled. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good ball at four, bat that, that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to excite him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Starlin Castro. As you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch on its way. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1 0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. <laughs> a 
And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two men are on with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. Harper on the run. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. And inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on the show. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. What a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. One oh. There's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. Again, another foul ball. The one two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Here now the two two. on the ground to first. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. That is four. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Into the box, Reese Hoskins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. All one. Counts one and oh. One oh. is taken oh, for ball two. Down. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Three oh. and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And nope. that misses That's for third. ball four. Ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, it. we're not going to come down to our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Stepping up to the plate, Jay Bruce. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. the stretch in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's one and oh and it's fouled away Bruce swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three he was a first round pick back in 2005 yeah he has turned himself into a really nice ball player I wouldn't put him on the oh, And his game of hide and seek ends as he's tagged out to end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. And now for Washington, number four. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Ball three. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy an inning and think you're going to have any success. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Through first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Now in the box, Jan Gomes comes in after a day of rest yesterday. So we'll see if it did him any good. Check it, and it's 0-1. One. One. Count even at 1-1 one 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 to the Nationals' first baseman. The runner at second, nobody out. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Bruce at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The relay, and a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to the left. Coming to the plate now, Sean Murphy. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Ah. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball and two strikes. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. And even 2-2 two -two count for the Nationals catcher. Got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. And now, Anibal Sanchez has the first pitch to him and swung on and missed for strike one. He's set. The 0-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Withenshaw is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Nationals leave one. will move to the third with no score. Standing in, Justin Turner, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Turner. 
first delivery to him on the way. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. Throw to first He's in out. time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting it. The catcher. Zach Collins. Coming to the plate now, Zach Collins, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The pitch. Balls and no strikes. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Outside, 3 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Third inning, no score to this point. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. They haven't been able to register a that hit against this guy, but at least they have a base here runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jared Eikhoff. From the belt, kicks and deals. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. The set and the 1 0. Tapped out in front of home. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. We're back now as the Nationals ready to bat in the third inning, and as they do, it's a good time to discuss their offense, which has been a real source of pride for this club. Entering the day, they rank among the best teams in the league in stolen bases. A lot of teams these days rely more on big swings to the bat to generate offense. But when I asked a member of the coaching staff about their approach on the bases, he told me they're simply playing into their strengths. He said they have a lot of really athletic guys, so it would be misguided to not be aggressive and force the other guys to play and stop them. Something to keep an eye on as this one goes forward. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats of left. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball and strike. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Full count now. Three and two. 
Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, in a scoreless game, you want to do anything you can to jumpstart your offense. With the speed of this guy on first, don't be surprised if he gets the green light here. Ready for another chance? Adam Eaton flied out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. He's set. Here it comes. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The 1 0. Nobody out, runner on first. Turner's on his horse on his way to second. It's outside the throw. Well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. The 2 1. Ball a slider taken for a ball. Juan Soto will be next. No one out with a runner at second. Liner toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Well, that's an ideal story of the inning right here. The lead off end strokes a double, and the next guy comes up and swaps places with him, chasing his partner home. Could be a big inning. Juan Soto to the plate now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. Hit down the line at first. And a foul ball. And the count holds it 0 2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat the to second base. Jeremy. Delarosa. At the plate, Jeremy Delarosa. He drew a walk his first time up. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Fastball is swung on and missed. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Comes set and the 0-1. Oh. Two and oh, one. that's off the plate. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Fouled off. Ready with the 2-2 pitch. You got a full count. 
3-2. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Fouled away. it again three and two and he popped him up but this will land untouched another one sent foul already 24 pitches to this point in the inning Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Another full count pitch home. And a chance shot here as this is sent towards second. And there are two away now. Not a lot of to do with that. Oh, that fastball just to be left inside. He gets the soft grounder. Starlin Castro, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Ready with the 1-0. Whoa, that count. Now 2-0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch. Very careful. Two outs here with a runner at third. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. 2-1 and one now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here's the 2 1. Yeah. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Forsa. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Logan Forsythe as we begin the top of the fourth. Logan First pitch on its way. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time in every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1 1. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Eaton is there to put it away for route number one. Now that the seventh time field. now for the Nationals road to the showroom point. As we get a look at a couple of guys making some noise in the upper levels of the minors. for one in the ball game. Ah. Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike. One and one. Ball, one strike. Ah. 
This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Now the 2 1. Smoke toward third. Fielded it cleanly. Throw gets him two down. The right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring up Bryce Harper. Pitch to him. Hey! Oh, one's the count. Oh, and one, the count to Bryce Harper. Here's his yep, splitter that's taken out. for a ball, oh, one and one. Oh, Phillies are still looking to crack into the hip column in this one. Here's one that misses on now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Fastball too up. high, ball, ball four. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it. But when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather be standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Reach base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the belt, the pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. Oh and one, here it comes. One and, and it's one. one and one. Ball and two. he takes ball two, and it's two and one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. So it's a two run shot to right center, number 21 for him on the season, and it's given the Phils a two to one lead. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Here's Jay Bruce now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. home outside that looks ball. like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive that being very aggressive right now now the 2-0 finds hey. the zone strike one two runs on just one hit and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point hit to first and a step oh. on the bag himself and the inning is over Strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Now two to one, Philadelphia. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Digging in, number four is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Number four. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Well, that's his second double of the game. I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Bang it off the walls, but he's looking really good in this one. Stepping in now, Jan Gomes. So he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Up top, it's 2-0.
Digging in to try it again. Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here down. in this one run the contest. Justin Turner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. The count is one and two. Man, a pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. Turner swings and it's a very well hit ball to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. So a ringing double here to kick off inning number five. And as we take a look at the Phillies team leaders, we see he currently sits in third place in that department. Standing in now, Zach Collins. It's a well hit ball out to right center field. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across the score. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning goal. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit. Placing a double of his own could be a big inning if this continues. On his way out to the mound now, the Washington manager, and it appears that will be all for Anibal Sanchez. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings, as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Daniel Hudson, right handed reliever, standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Box now, Jared Eichel. No. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and zero. Oh. He did his job and laid down a successful sack bunt in his first appearance. One and zero oh pitch on the way, and now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down, and there's one away. The bat number two, shortstop. Segura. Gene Segura standing in. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. The strike to the Phillies leadoff man. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and now back. watching this head back, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box, Logan Forsythe, and he fouls this one off. 
He's hitless in his two at bats so far. for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Drill down the line, but well, that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. There's a 
a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. One in the inning for the Nationals on a solo home run. Through five innings. It's now a 3 2 ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 0-1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Soto is under this one. And he's got it for the first down. The right field by number three. Bryce Harper. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First pitch on its way. The Off the plate and low here, ball one. Nope. Fastball ball. misses away here, it's 2-0. Oh. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Softly down the line toward first. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. The first base, yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D Road. You can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. You're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. It just wasn't meant to be. Reese Hoskins will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run. It was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game at this point. Now a throw over. He dive, but he's back. And another throw over. Dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Outside the throw. Castro's tag was on the money. He's out at second base. Runner gets a good jump from first, but one of the things that helps as a catcher, if you have a plus arm, and he puts this throw right on the money. No. 
all that. He lays off again, ball three. Good job to work the count, put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way.
third and one to Jan Gomes. Yeah, these are the special ones. 
had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail Lincoln, off and has given his team single-handedly almost given his team a chance to for Philadelphia. Zach Eflin takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now is Adam Eaton. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. From the stretch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one will bounce into the wall. at second without a play as a run will score on the play as well. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done. At the plate now, Juan Soto. Out in front of it, strike one. They're facing right-handed pitching so far this season. Soto is carrying around batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. 1-1. One, one. Oh, right down. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 2 1 home. Seared down the first baseline. Reached, but it's high and it's a pretty good get to that ball. And the runner from second is in to score. It's an 8 to 3 ball game. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of the slump. This guy was too good. You know it was a matter of time before he started that. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good enough. To the plate now, Jeremy Villarosa, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Look at him jump all over that first pitch, using aggression to get himself a knock on the right side. So here's Starlin Castro. High in the air out to center field. Withenshaw is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Number four. And he's working on a three double game right now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. All one, no strike. Inside, 2-0. and oh. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Down That's low, and three. the plot thickens here. 3-0. Three three oh. oh. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on it. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Three and one, but two on. And this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Two down runners at first and second. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. I think he's trying to 
be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Now, Blake Jan Gomes. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, that down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one. Oh, right there. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. is loaded. Popped him up. Collins is under it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. Seventh inning coming up. Nationals on top eight to three. conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Wander Suero is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Tyler Nevin will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 17. Stepping in, Jay Bruce. Nevin. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The 0-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. 2-2. Uh, taken high, but for a call, strike three. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling calls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for two in the ball game thus far. fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Another 0 2 home. And they'll try to one tempt ball. him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. The one-two. It's laid off for ball two. 
man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Now here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castro ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Stepping into the box, Zach Collins. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. And this is low ball one. Pitch is popped up. Nevin waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Can't make any headway into an 8 3 deficit. Riding in once again. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, pretty deflated at bat right there, Maddie. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull the trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. Ball one. Fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. And it'll look like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Bruce has a read on it. One out. Now batting the third baseman, Tyler. Never. Digging in, Tyler Nevin. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now here it comes. A ball and no strikes. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Two balls, one strike. In the air now, out to left field. And Bruce has got this one two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Trey Turner. He went deep back in the fifth. First offering on its way. Nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. And the 
throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Nationals gone in order, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. And summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Cody Dickerson is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eight. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hands so far. Here comes the 1-0. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. The hitter was able to keep his hands through. Deliver a nice line drive. Standing in now, Gene Segura. And so he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. <laughs> now the 1 0. Ball two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Two and zero. Oh, here it is. Hey. That one's in there on the black. Two and one. I got two on the count. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on two and zero, oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel. Really confident with. Philly shortstop in front of the count, three and one. Nobody out, runner on first. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Castro ranging into the outfield. He can't get there as it falls in. He's and that runner will go no further than second as there are two now aboard back. now. Well, that's what's so pitch. disappointing as a pitcher, Devo. You know, make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. At the plate, Logan Forsythe swing and a liner. Leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now it's cut off. The throw to the plate, but not in time as he's across with the run. Hey, Giro, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles in a run Number driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks. in Mark Withenshaw. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost Maddie almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. He's set and the pitch. Whoa, and he right takes there. ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. One oh count, here it is. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. The 2-0. -oh. 
to the right side and through a base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. Well, you know, you have to love that if you're a hitter. You get ahead in a count, too. You know, you get a fastball right down the middle, and he sure knew what to do with it. Are you kidding me? You fight tooth and nail to get into count leverage at bats. You are 3-1, one up to buy yourself that fastball middle cut. So the hood of the bullpen now, and it will be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. So you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Now, ball and two strikes now. Doolittle typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen resulting in low walk totals although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy Matt is not being afraid to pack the strikes on with that said he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that Matty B he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Fouls this one off. Bases loaded here, nobody out. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter, and you think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Here's the 0-1. Hey, he threw that pitch for the purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here's the 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The 1-2. Misses for the second ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Zips it to Castro for one. Relay to first in time. Just like that, this side is retired. So one run on four hits. No errors. And two men left stranded. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Washington leads this one eight to four. Mike Morin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth.
lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. One and two now to Adam Eaton. zone a good changeup gets the call this guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in I'm shocked he went in there but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it bases are empty one man out. That's unable to find the zone with the slider that one looked like it could easily have gone the other way there's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1 but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. Now here's the pitch. The count is two more. A six foot four inch right-hander. He was a 13th round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Three balls and a strike to the Nationals left fielder. That's lifted the other way out to left. Roots is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The batter, the center fielder, Jeremy Delarosa. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Jeremy De La Rosa. He singled his last time up. Here's the pitch. Aye. A one pitch on its way. That's inside. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. In the air now, out to left field. Bruce giving chase. Legs turning. He's headed for second. And now that will hop over the wall. So he'll be a second here with two away. On the ground rule double. Just a great approach at the plate right there. Takes that pitch on the outer half and goes with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. So now to the plate, Starlin Castro. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1 0 home. It's taken strike one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Grounded to short. Segura has it. But he's called out of the side as retired. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Jake Bruce. And they'll need him to get something going here. Jake 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Aye. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two, strikes. two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count. Do you still pitch for the strikeout here. <laughs> Behind the count, three two. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jay Bruce is retired to kick off the inning. The third base. So next to the plate for the Phils, Justin Turner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, first pitch is a slider down low. It's one and zero. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider, just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Now the 2 0 home. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Strike three call. And that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see now great hitters have their calls go their way yeah. on close pitches, but no not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Into the box now, Zach Collins. Oh, that is the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. He's one for two in this one.